Reen, we were just told what's about to happen. You're to take part in the liberation of the capital, yes? I'm sure you're aware of how dangerous this will be. More so than anything else you've done to date. I am. But this is our chance to bring the Civil War to an end for good. I know how you guys worry about me. But as a student of Thor's, I want to fight to protect my country. And as Elise's brother, I want to fight to take her back. I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. I have to go. <laughs> we knew you'd say something like that. That we did. You're not a child anymore. You've grown into a fine young man. And I have no intentions of stopping you. Do what you feel needs to be done. Bring Elise home and rescue His Majesty, Reen. I won't let you down. It's hard to believe just how much you've grown in these past two months. I think it may finally be time. You deserve to know the truth, Reen. Dad? There's something that I've been keeping from you all this time. I've wondered when this day would come, and now I believe you're old enough and mature enough to handle it. And so, once all of this is over, I will tell you all that I know about your birth. Uh, darling, are you sure? I am. I'm sorry for not running this past you first, Lucia. But wouldn't you agree he has the right to know? And I'm sorry to you as well, son. I didn't intend to bring this up so suddenly. It's all right, Dad. I wasn't expecting you to bring up the issue now. But somewhere in the back of my mind, I'd always suspected there was something you weren't telling me. I see. You did? <laughs> it's not like I had proof or anything. But I was found abandoned in a blizzard. Under those circumstances, a kid my age would freeze to death in a matter of hours. And yet Dad just happened to find me in the nick of time. I couldn't help but wonder if maybe there was more to it. I kept turning it over and over in my head, trying to figure out if there was something I was missing all this time. I see. I'm so sorry. We didn't realize you were suffering so much over it. <laughs> I don't think it's something you should have to apologize for. I know why you wouldn't tell me. And besides, I feel like I've grown a lot in this last year too, personally. Thanks to Elise and everyone I've met at Thor's, I can finally feel proud of who I am. And that's why, no matter what happens now, no matter what you have to tell me, I'll always be your son. It's never going to change. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to finding out, but it's not the big deal it once was anymore. <laughs> Thank you, son. I was going to do that. <laughs> I should be the one thanking the two of you.